Greetings, Tess Daniels here. I'm using a recording tool uh, called Screencastify uh, to make a little bit of a bug report for BlueStacks. I'm running the newest BlueStacks, and you can see my CPU is running 63, 33, 54, etc. Uh, and here is the BlueStacks login, and I'm going to try and type my name, my sign in. I just typed it, but the keyboard and the UI is just not responding. You can see the CPU just jumped up 88%. Let's see if I can finish. There we go. Okay, so 81, 86, 46, 45. You can see it's really slow, and you can hear me typing. And it's just not responding. The BlueStacks is really slow on this computer. Uh, and let me see if I can pull up Resource Monitor. Here's Resource Monitor. And CPU. BlueStacks, there it is. It shows up not as the biggest consumer of the uh, CPU, but it's just... Uh, wait, there we go. Got some spikes here at 100%. Uh, I just can't get the login to work. I've been trying, but the keyboard responds so slowly that uh, it's clearly just not going to work. Um, it did work previously in 2.7. But this new version, uh, it's just so not responding. Let me see if I can pull up the uh, the version information here. No, I can't close out of this either. So I'm gonna, just going to close this whole thing out. Yes. And you see the CPU is at 79%, 46, and dropping. So BlueStacks is only consuming 23% of this of the CPU of the known CPU, and I do recognize that recording this is chewing up a lot, and that the resource monitor might chew up a lot, but I'm not able to actually even log in to BlueStacks. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, uh, yeah, sorry, my memory is I got four gigs of RAM, of RAM to chew on, but. Uh, just can't get BlueStacks 3 to work. Thanks for watching. Happy computing.